All right. If you're here, it's because you were a fan, or you are a fan, rather, of Armored Core 6, and you followed my old stuttering fix video, and today there was a patch for Armored Core 6. It was a small patch. I hoped that it was going to be something that uh, fixed the stutters without having to do the trick, but... Nah, it actually reintroduced the stutters, or rather, it didn't really do anything, and if you did update to the patch 1.0.2, uh, your game will either not run, so you will have to verify the integrity of the uh, the game itself, and then once you do, you, uh, you wind up with this. Um, it's the exact same problem from 1.00, and... The good news is the old trick still works, right? All you have to do is, well, let's quit out of this and head on back to the desktop. What you'll do is first go to Manage Browse Local Files. Wait, we already have it open over here. And it's the exact same method. You will look for start underscore protected game. You will rename it, remove the exe. Copy paste the new Armored Core. Make sure that it is 1.1.2 in the file version. You'll copy it. You'll paste it in the exact same folder. Right. And then you will rename this copy to Start Protected Game. I already have it here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Now, after doing that, you launch the game, right, as we have here. Uh, by the way, this just uh, disables easy anti-cheat because with easy anti-cheat on, you cannot start the game or you cannot do the next uh, step that you need to do, which is to open up Task Manager, go to Details, and set affinity of CPU 0 to unchecked. And just like that, we have more stable frames. If you have any doubts, we can go back to the AC test and compare the average frame rate. As you can see, we can even get to 120, right? And it's very, very stable compared to the previous. So anyway, that was it. Uh, obviously, you cannot use online services with this fix. Hopefully, they do patch out the problem. And yeah, that'll be it. See ya.